Hello everyone and welcome once again to electronicsdirect.com. My name is Hugh Almeida. Today I'm going to go over the proper way of preparing a coaxial cable and applying a compression connector over it. I'm going to do this up close. It's going to be an instructional video. So let us begin. I've always said in the past it's very important to have a clean cut across your center conductor. Even though this coax was cut, I don't know how long ago it might have been cut, so I always like to assure myself and give it one more cut so that I know I just have a clean cut across the center conductor. Your next step is going to be to use an inexpensive prep tool. In this case, I have a prep tool here that will prep RG6 and RG59. If I was to prep coaxial cable RG59, I simply remove this, turn it, reinstall re the little tab, and align the arrow to the actual coax cable that I'm about to prep. In this instance, you can see that the arrow is set to 6, which is ready to prep RG6 coax cable. So let us begin the process. I take my coax cable, I insert it into the, the jaws of the prep tool, I give it slight pressure so that the blades make contact with the PVC jacket. I rotate forward. I like to rotate it back just to make sure I have the proper cut. And then I remove the, the prep tool from the coaxial cable. Now what we have is an industry standard, which is a quarter quarter. Quarter inch of exposed center conductor quarter inch of some braid shielding and foam dielectric. What we do next is we pull back the braid over your PVC jacket. You want to make sure that your center conductor is also clean and free of any other uh, braid or so I'd like to just make sure by just rubbing my nails across the top there. There you go. And our final step is actually going to be to insert a compression connector over the coax cable. You give it a couple turns. A couple things to keep in mind. One, your foam dielectric or your foam polyethylene dielectric should be flush with the inside of your compression connector. A little tip that I like to give is I like the center conductor to slightly be exposed beyond the lip of the compression connector. And what this, the reason this is so important is when you apply this to either a splitter at home or the backs of your cable TV or the back of a satellite box, it makes better contact with the inside pins of your component. Your final stage is to compress it by using one of these tools. Now there's many different compression tools. I'm simply going to use what we call a ratchet type compression connector. We insert the compression connector and coax into the chamber. We compress. You can see it's compressed. Industry standard is 21 millimeters. We remove the connector and coax from the tool. I like to give it just a slight tug just to make sure we have a great compression and here we have a very well compressed connector sealed around the coax cable. We have exposed con uh, center conductor just beyond the lip for, for great connectivity on the back of any cable box, a splitter or satellite box. And there you have it. I hope, my friends, that this video was helpful. Should you have any questions, feel free to always send us an email. Again, I ask that you follow us on Twitter, read our blogs, become a fan on Facebook. Make the connection. I'll see you soon. Thank you.